So tell me about L.A. Law and how you came to accept working on a television show, which takes a lot of time, um, especially for a series. Well, you know, the, the script came to me, and I didn't want to do a TV series, so I just tossed it down on a, uh, on a credenza somewhere. I didn't pay any attention to it for like a month. And then I had a friend of mine over for dinner, and he saw the script. He goes, oh, my God you have the L.A. Law script? And I get, yeah, well, so what? He goes, but that's like, everyone wants to read that script. And I went, really? Uh, I haven't read it yet. You know? and, uh, and I read it that night after dinner. And to this day, it, that pilot script remains the best thing I've ever read. I mean, it was perfectly written, that script. So I, and after reading, I, I went, wow, okay, I got to meet this guy. Whoever wrote this script, I got to meet him. Turns out it wasn't really written by Stephen Bochco. It was written by Tara Louise Fisher, uh, who was his partner at the time. Um, they collaborated on it, and she was sort of the law person involved. Stephen was not a law person, but uh, I met him, and he, he offered me the part, but uh, they couldn't afford my price. I turned it down, um, and I said, you know, I can't live on what you're offering me. I, I, the numbers don't work. Uh, you know, I have mortgages, child support payments, I've got car payments, I've got, and you add the numbers up, it just doesn't work. So I turned it down, and then uh, my wife at the time, Laura Johnson, we were up visiting her parents on a, on a weekend, and she just said, you know, it's really an opportunity you need to embrace somehow. Uh, call Stephen back up and see if there's some way you can do it and make it work, which I did, and I went back and met him, and he said, listen, um, you know, you should do this and uh, it'll be great. And, and he's, the way TV series work is uh, either they're hits or they're not. And if they're not a hit, they go away, in which case you'll go back to making your salary that you were making before. And if it's a big hit, then everyone's going to renegotiate their contracts. He said, I'll make more money. The studio will make more money. You'll make more money and all that. But then at the end of the first year, it was a huge hit. And um, yeah, that he didn't live up to that. But uh, nevertheless, it, it it ended up being a wonderful thing to do uh, for five years, but only for five years. 